Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to War in the East as we continue. So, the, um, consensus seems to be that I should be moving these forces, so I will do that. But I think what I might, uh, do over here to preserve the amount of fuel in some of these units is, uh, potentially move the motorized rather than the, uh, mechanized slash armor. There's a few airfields over here that we could hit fairly hard. I could also try to cut off these forces, which I believe I will. Yeah. Almost possible. Oh, very much possible with this unit. Yep, that'd be a good idea. Could also cut off these forces over here in the same space. Or uh, we could reach the outskirts of Talonin. I think Talonin's actually held by the Soviets. Let's do a little bit of reconnaissance then, just to make sure. Eh, uh, constants. There we go. Now, we don't really have that much range due to that that I need to move my airfields. Oh, yeah, I do need to move these airfields. I'll move them in the following turn, actually. Right then. Uh, so, I have added another flag over here. Well, another mod. I don't know. I just think it makes it a, just a little bit more realistic. A little bit closer to reality. Okay. Now, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, there's got to be something in Talonin. Oh, we might just be on the outskirts of Talonin. Interesting. Now, what I could potentially do is have the Panzer Divisions under one command, then have the Motorized under a separate command. And at least in that way, it could potentially um, allow us to pull off different things, like have the Panzer Group in a different area. The thing is, with that, is um, separating out our forces quite a lot, so... Uh, I do feel like we should be moving forwards, but then again, I have stated multiple times that uh, if we move too far forward, these units will be just, yeah, they'll be separated from the main army. Uh, so I think we'll go with the safer option, but I think I will go and uh, do what I just said there, and move headquarters. Well, move units around. Right. 60. Yeah. You can't move, actually. You can't move either. Okay. Um, hmm. If I do move them, they will be out of supply. So I might be better off just using this uh, Panzer Group here in the south. I think that would be a better idea. But again, that interferes with the role of that army group. Goddamn. They could accomplish that task, though. Okay. Right, well, anyway, people wanted this, so I'll move them somewhat then. Now, I do not want to uh, move these guys away and force them to retreat. If they retreat, then they're out of the... Uh, well, they're off the hook, basically. Let's move that one hex forward. There we go, now they're cut off. Might as well move forward. Move to the city. There we go. That keeps them happy. See, why are you assigned to another command? That's rather silly. Right, there we go. That makes things far superior. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, you can move. That is true. I could move up there the 4th Panzer Group headquarters itself, like the overall command, and have the uh, motorized reassigned to that command just for the time being, just so I can cut off these forces and uh, satisfy people's desire to see these forces move up. Okay. I don't know, do I want to go for Talonin? I feel like I should. Uh, then again, let's look at this. So we have a Panzer Group right here. We have the second Panzer Group. We have the third Panzer Group. Is this the first Panzer Group? This is the fourth Panzer Group. Okay, so the first is in the south. Uh, so the uh, third Panzer Group could push up this way and allow the fourth Panzer Group to push north instead. So yeah, we could go for something like that. I mean, we can swing possibly into the north, though we still have these forces that can be moved here potentially. We'll have to see what we can do. But I think I'll swing the 4th Panzer Group towards Talonin. At least, going down that way, we do have the potential to try and uh, get around Piskov. It does depend. We might be able to do it. There is going to be forces here. Undoubtedly, there is going to be a defensive line here. But if I could try to force my way across after taking Talonin, or at least I don't even need to take Talonin this turn, though if I can do it, that would be quite nice. Uh, though if I can do it, that would be good. As we can put pressure on Leningrad. And um, I imagine the Red Army, upon seeing uh, forces over here in the north, they will shift their focus from the center line here. So the armies of Army Group North will have a much easier time, I'd imagine, pushing down this way. Okay, we'll go for Talonin with the 4th Panzer Group. I apologize for taking so long to come to that... Um, decision. I think there's a unit here. That seems likely. Right. Let's move up over here then. I'm not entirely sure if there's something there. Hmm, now that I think about it. Okay. I could get into all these headquarters, that is true. Hmm. God damn, this is a hard choice. I don't want to uh, throw my forces out too wildly. Can I achieve that with these forces? I could actually reach over here. I could obviously get over here into some landscape. Well, into this blank area. Uh, but the thing is, we're going to have the infantry moving up this way. And this center isn't as important. As important, sorry. Anywhere near as important as Leningrad. Moscow is great, don't get me wrong. If you take Moscow, you're doing very well. But if you take Leningrad, then you can really start to begin to win the war. Mostly because you can force them. Well, you take Leningrad, which is an important city where heavy tanks are produced, like the KV-1. And uh, you also form a nice front line. You can focus on this way, instead of this way and this way. So we'll go for that then. Okay. It's going to be difficult to maintain headquarters over here. Very difficult. Um, I think what we'll do here is we'll move up some headquarters. Sorry, some airfields. Right. We'll move the headquarters over here for the time being. Then I'll move my airfield up. There we go. We do have some reconnaissance aircraft in here. Uh, yep, reconnaissance. Let's try and pull some reconnaissance off. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, I think Talonin is clear. I'll take the risk. It's not going to be clear, I can imagine this now. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't suspect that. Oh, well, we've um, taken Talonin. At least that's done now. These forces are being supplied by naval efforts. That's going to be harder for them. Okay. Hmm. I have to move up everything here, basically. Oh, I can move up like this. Oh, that's fantastic, then. Okay. Uh, that's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be, then. Okay. We'll move up over here, then. There we go. Now they're happy chappies. Hmm. One. Two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Hmm. Obviously, I should try to destroy these forces, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> we'll move up on top of the HQ. Now then, I think we'll swing you towards this goal. Then again, see, I might be doing myself a dis um, disservice actually by having this headquarters all the way up here. I know this is wasting a lot of supply. But if I have them closer to the actual rails, then we're going to gain more supply. Okay, where are the rails? Hmm. Good, we're still in range, so I'll move the airfield back on top. Uh, at least in the following turn, they'll be on top of supply. <clears throat> on top of the actual uh, railhead, and then at least that's going to be a hell of a lot more efficient. Okay. But either way, these forces are fine. They're good to go. We'll clear out these um, Soviets in the following turn. We have cut off these forces in the north to an extent, so then what we can begin to do is... Um, Hopefully try and activate the Finnish armies and begin a concentrated effort towards Leningrad. Okay. Move up. Which way do I want to go with this? So going up here. Going up here with that one. Yeah, this should help army group center then. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's combine these forces back into their divisions. There we go. Surrendered. Okay, so let's take a look at the tallies beforehand. Right, 268,000 at the moment. Actually, let's take a look how many captured. Captured 125,000. Oh wow, I suppose help was not needed then. Okay, these divisions will be tasked with cleaning up these forces. Okay, they held. Hmm. Okay, bad move. You do have some motorized, apparently. Not really the best force to have it with, I guess. Uh, what we'll do is we'll move the infantry up and then we'll uh, change who has that. Okay. Either way, let's begin to move up. Start with the ones first away from the front. Are these forces actually cut off? No, these aren't. <clears throat> but they will be. I may be able to have them just shatter. Then again, I am... Mm -hmm. We'll see. Definitely should not have done that, should not have done it again. Ah oh well, at least we can move up now. Keep units together. Or at least close-ish together. Obviously, I'd love to go ham and just, like, go as far as possible. But it's about destroying the Red Army, rather than taking random towns. So when we do actually reach Russians, we need to be able to destroy them rather than just get around them. Ah. Uh. 
that is going to put a little bit too much weight on that other command. But for the time being, this is fine. At least these uh, divisions can wipe out these forces here. Right, shift back. We don't need to be that close. Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping these air bases here mostly because I just want to get that much supply into them. If I can get supply into them now, that's going to be good. Then when we move forward, we'll have more supply than we would have done anyway. So at least that's something. Let's move to the railhead. Ah. Then again, the rail head is now here. So I guess we should move up these airfields, which we will. Now these airfields can stack, it's just I kind of like to have them separated just to see how many we have in the locations. Right, you're under this command. Little silly to have them so spread out then. Okay, these airfields can support Army Group Center. Indeed. We'll have them just within our borders, though. Makes the most sense. There we go. See the range has been extended. So we'll go with some reconnaissance then. There we go, picking up a few more units now. Ah, you're in charge of the uh, Luftwaffe in the north here. This is okay, H. Uh, let's take a look here then, shall we? Commander's report. So you can see here, Army Group Center is suffering command point penalty. Army Group South especially is suffering there. So, what we need to do then is um, use our administration points to ease that burden. So, Army Group South. Yeah. You're commanding a lot here. Where is the Romanian headquarters? Hmm. Romanian High Command. Hmm. Uh, this is it, Army Group Anton. Right, that's it. So we need to transfer these commands to the army group over here. Uh, can I change our color? Oh god, what color do we have here? What does 1111 do like much? 111. That's a black. I'm a fucking idiot, aren't I? Okay. 100. Uh, 20. And 100. That's a thousand. Eh, it's a nice color. A little bit hard to see those, isn't it? Yeah, so 200 red. 
50 green, um, 100 blue. Uh, that's easier to see, actually. Much easier to see. Okay. You will be assigned to Amagur Banton. Yeah, so your 36 um, administration points are used there. That's a big, big, big move. But how has that helped us? Clear all filters. There we go. Headquarters. Yeah, see how that's already helped there? That's made a big difference. And um, the thing is, why? Why would we not be doing this? Where is Amigur Banton? <clears throat> there we go, Amigur Banton. Yep, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Fourth Romanian. Yeah, subject to the German High Command. There's really not much point to it. Fourth Romanian army. See, I can't afford that. Hmm. Is this a German? No, this is Romanian. Uh, what I was basically thinking here is um, if these are well actually these commanders might be free in time we'll see <coughs> excuse me right 11 farming this is German this is in fact German so we do have German forces down here now these are Romanian forces. So we have Germans and Romanians in these forces. This is uh, German. There we go. Okay. This is most definitely German. This is what I want to do. I want to separate the Germans and Romanian forces just so I can keep it easy. Uh, the reason why is obviously the... No access allies advanced guns point. Yeah, that's it. Access ally limit. So if I can have the German forces in the north and remaining to sweep the south, that'd be good, along with the Hungarians. But I'm really interested in trying to alleviate the uh, demands on Army Group South. Well, that has gone a long way. Right, I'll have a farmy. Which is you. Yeah, can't change it. But we'll roll with this, this is better anyway. At least it's helping to an extent. Right. So it's like forces like um, this, like maybe this army, maybe the 4th army could be assigned to OKH directly. That would take an army off of Army Group Central as well, which would make it easier for them to command and supply logistics in general. Okay, let's begin moving up. Too much talky talky. Not enough, uh, not enough action. Right. You can go here. Oh, that'll break easy. Surrendered. Yep, surrendered. This one is really in... I don't know. Morale is pretty meh, so we need to get that one a few victories. And with a few victories, they'll increase in combat value. Destroy this force. Right, yep, they surrendered. Awesome. Well, we are coming towards the end of the episode, guys, so thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it, and until next time, goodbye for now.